Hey Gerald, Big Town here. I uh, noticed in one of your latest videos for EverQuest you were having a little bit of trouble still with the uh, loot advanced or the advanced loot window. So I wanted to make a tiny little tutorial, just really quick, to give you some pointers as far as that goes, because I was noticing that you seemed to just be missing a particular. Uh, aspect of the loot window and my guess is it's because you primarily play solo but in those rare instances where you're in a group I just wanted to give you a uh, an example as to like what the loot window is supposed to be doing in the uh, group environment so I'll kill this guy here hopefully he drops some loot for me so I can actually sh you know show you in the uh, one kill here without having to go around killing a bunch of enemies. So we'll see. Uh, do I still have my talisman? Looks like no. Well, it's on me. Where's it? Not on my... Why do I not... Did it not take hold? Talisman of the Lynx. Talisman. Talisman of Sli- Oh, there it is. Okay. Weird. That's... Seemed like it wasn't on there. Alright. Here we go. So I was noticing that you were having issues when you would get to this screen here. It, it seems like you don't know what to... what it's trying to accomplish, and... I posted some comments on there and was trying to explain it with words, but I figured maybe a video would, would help you a little better. So, that's need. The first one there is need. Then that's, if you mouse over, you can see, see, greed. The first two are the indicators letting you know what you have selected in the past. No, you don't want it. So these first three are exactly the, the last three. So here's always need, that represents the need. Always greed, represents the greed. Never, represents no. So on this particular item, in a group environment, I would want a greed roll. Okay? So what it does is you select greed roll, the advanced loot system will from here on remember that for this pristine gorilla tooth, you always want a greed on it. Okay? And then let's say for this tooth here, this ruined one, let's just say, you know, greed for that as well, okay? Now, from here on out, anytime these two items show up in this window here, it will automatically be selected because of this option here, okay? Because you selected always greed, it's going to mark it as greed. From here on forth, like you never even have to mess with it, okay? Then you can close the window. That's it. That's all you have to ever do with it. Anytime you're in this area killing these enemies and those items drop, it will for henceforth remember that they're marked as being greed. Now, I think some of the confusion comes from the fact that you're, you know, you're not looting them. That's because inside the loot window, there's like, there's a timer. Like maybe they should have like a, an indicator somewhere in here of the timer. But basically, there is a timer going. So he's the group leader. Okay. Now, the group leader's got a lot more responsibility and, and abilities. But if he doesn't do anything, this the, like it's a running in the background, behind the scenes timer. So eventually, that timer will expire. And whatever people have clicked is going to process. So... Eventually, because the group leader has not selected anything, it's just going to be like he didn't click anything. So it'll be like he passed. So when the timer runs out, eventually these items are going to show up in here because I was the only one that rolled on it. And I think what the problem you're having is, is that you don't get the loot right away. Is the old loot system, you know, you would click on the corpse, right? And the little thing would pop up and you would be able to loot right away. Loot right away. 
And here, there's a timer. Now, the group leader can, like, go in through the little menu here and select, uh, like, enable free grab or whatever like that. And when he clicks on set to all, it only affects the items that are in this window right here at the time. So the group leader basically has to do these types of stuff, like, every time loot shows up in the window. If he doesn't do it, then it goes based on what you've selected in here, okay? So you click on greed, or 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 if you, you know, say it's like a, a quest item that you know you don't want, then you would click on the never, and it would basically, when the little internal timer goes down, you would just click on that, and when the timer expired, it would, you know, it would say like, a message in one of the windows down there would say, Everyone is passed, no one rolled, or whatever. Now, another option, if you go through the little loot settings right here, okay? You can see right here, it says, Auto Show Loot Window, and then it shows Show on New Items Only, okay? So if you select that, what happens is, because you've already selected what you want it to do, you can close the window. You never even have to look at it, okay? If you kill another enemy and it drops the same two items, that loot window is not even going to pop up because it already knows what you want to do with those two items. Okay? So if you get a new loot item, though, let's, like, I'll show you here. If I kill, say, this guy here. We'll kill this guy. And you'll see that if you drop something new that I haven't decided what I want to do with, whether I don't want it, whether I want to need on it, or greed on it, you'll see that the loot window will pop up. Because I selected that I only want it to pop up when a new item shows up. Otherwise, your loot window is going to pop up on every enemy you kill. So anytime you get loot, even if you've already told it that you want to, you know, you want a greed roll on it. So, let's kill this guy here. Okay, I guess I'll be killing these two guys. Sorry. Froxens was resisted. What, my pet get killed? No? Where's my pet? Oh, he's floating. That's one of the things I noticed. I get uh, if if I'm levitating or if anybody else is levitating, they'll end up be floating like way above me, and I'll look around and I won't see anybody. I'm like, where'd they go? Yeah, they're there. They're just floating. They're up there in a million pieces. All right, see, see how the window popped up. That's because there are items that I haven't selected whether I want to loot or not. So on this particular thing, I don't want those furs. The pristine canine teeth is a quest item. They're lore. So in this particular, this is one of those times where you actually, if you have it, because it's lore, and you try to greed on it, it's going to tell you, see right down here? You cannot choose to need or greed because you already have it, because it's lore. So you just leave it, un you like don't select anything or you can click never but if it was a repeatable quest or something like that you'd run into a situation where like because you've selected uh never on it the very next time you get that item it, because it was selected as never you're not going to get it, it, it it's not going to pop up your window because you've selected never on it so re what I usually do as far as that goes is I, I don't select anything. I just let the loot timer run out on it. And then, so here's a uh, black pearl. So that's some money. So I'll click on greed. Elaborate binding powders. Probably like trade skill or quest. Yeah, so on this thing, I, I'm not going to roll on it. I don't particularly want. So stuff that stacks up usually sells pretty good. So I'll roll on that as well, okay? So eventually... It takes, and this is another thing too, it, it really does take a long time for the little timer to play out without 
uh, the group leader doing something. So what the group leader would need to do would need they would need to click on like this auto roll thing here, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna force the window to start the countdown. That's what this is. So basically, it's activated the timer. There is a timer if you don't do it. It's just like I think, I think it's just an absurdly long amount of time. Like around the time maybe the corpse would unlock that a another person would be able to walk up to the corpse and click on it and like loot the item. At that point, once that timer is reached, this stuff should process. But you can see now because the group leader has done something, you can see that the the it's going from red at uh, being red shaded to being less red shaded to this yellowish green color once it goes once the little red bar officially goes to the bottom it's going to start rolling so what'll happen is it's going to roll I, i'm going to get the two all the stuff that I, i've selected greed for because i'm the only one that selected greed i'm the only one that's going to get that stuff see so because that timer ran out and I was the only one that rolled on it, I got everything. And it from here forth knows that I have selected nothing for this stuff. So until I go in there and physically click on something, it's just going to basically remember that I didn't select anything. And then the group leader has the ability to like basically leave it on the corpse, which is realistically what you would just tell it to do to get it out of the window here so you would say leave on the corpse and it would set to all and you'll see that everything was selected to be left on the corpse because there's nothing new in my loot window my loot window disappeared because of that option so i hope that clarified a little bit um I I guess I could kill one more guy and, uh, just for <laughs> clarification purposes. So we'll go ahead and kill this guy here. And we'll see what he drops. And you can see how the window works, like, as you start. So what it is, is, like, when you first start killing enemies, that loot window is, like, it, because nothing's selected, so like it's just going to be filled with just all the items. Instead of all the items being on the corpses, and you going to each individual corpse and looting it, they appear in like a list. So it's a little... It's like there's a lot of information that you're like, what the heck's all these items? Well, th those items were always there, you just never could see them. They were on the corpses laying on the ground. So it's like a big difference between, you know, having to click on each individual corpse, deciding what you want to loot or not, and then just leaving it be, and then having all of the items that you've gotten show up in a list. It's the same stuff. They were always there. It's just in a list format now instead of your single corpses. So we'll kill this guy. Okay, see? Now, because he dropped that pristine gorilla thing and I hadn't selected anything... It shows up with nothing selected. You can see the timer here is already starting to count down. And that's because the loot window has learned that I wanted to greed roll on the tooth. And on this one, because the group leader has selected, his group window remembers that he wants to start auto roll on this item. A deep water black pearl. It's a different pearl from the black pearl that I greeted on before. So now I have to select on greed, okay? And because the group leader hasn't selected an action for it, the, it doesn't know necessarily what to do with it. So the group leader would need to say something like free grab, leave on corpse, or uh, auto roll it on everything. Okay, so now it's, see? And I, because I had selected that I wanted that tooth, with the greed window from earlier, it already knows that I wanted to greed. It auto-rolled, the timer expired, and it rolled for it. Now, because the group leader's not selecting anything, it doesn't consider him as far as where the loot goes. 
So the tooth here is just going to stay on the corpse when it times out. And then this timer here is eventually going to go down. And then because I'm the only one that's selected greed, I'm going to get it. So then the group leader here would just simply like maybe right click and, and just leave on corpse. And it would automatically get it out of the window here. So you'll see here in a second it's going to expire. I'm the only one that selected greed. It's going to roll. So if there was another person in the group that clicked on greed, let's, for an example, we'll click greed here on this guy. You'll see, okay, see? So it rolled. It said, Frog Sins has rolled a 772 deep water on the, okay? And then it shows over here, Manilo, that's messed up, I'll have to fix that up later. Um, so it says here, he rolled a 864. So I rolled a 772, so he won the pearl. And what's it right there? Oh no, here we go. Right there, deep water pearl. And that's because he won the roll on it. So now moving forward from here on out in this group alignment, because Manello here, the group leader, selected greed on that item, anytime that item shows up again, it's automatically gonna roll after that little timer plays out. So once that timer expires, it's gonna automatically roll. So, long story short, and to summarize, inside the loot window, this bottom portion here, you're telling the loot window whether you want a greed on it or whether you want a need on it. The system works on greed or need before greed. So if you click on need, you're gonna get the need roll first. So it's gonna roll need first. That means if somebody greeds on it and you click need, you're gonna get it. Because it need rolls first. Whoever wins the need roll gets the item. If no one selects need, it's going to go to the greed roll. So basically what you're doing is you're populating this filter right here. Okay? This filter will eventually contain every item that you have ever had appear in the loot window. Okay? You don't really need to worry about this, but this is where it's keeping track of whether you've clicked on greed or never. So realistically, there's only three things that are happening. Four if you count, leave it on the corpse. You got need, greed, or never never roll on it. So let, let's say it's something you know that you don't ever want. It's like those, uh, those Shishar poisons, the little no-drop rogue poison thing. You, you literally don't ever need to pick those up because you just have to destroy them. So you click on never, and it will never roll on that item. It will keep it in this window right here. And because you can just simply close this window, you don't ever have to worry about the corpses or anything, because you can just let them sit on the ground. But you just need to populate that list of, with selections. So you need to like be clicking your little greed buttons on all the items that you want it to greed. And at some point towards like the end of the dungeon or whatever, you'll notice that you don't ever th that the, your loot window will never have to be open you'll just be getting loot because you've told the loot window what you want so just go through and click greed on everything you want and then you can close the window and only when loot window you know because you've done your little settings here and you've shown only on new items then you don't even have to have your loot window open and it's only going to open when something new shows up for you to make a decision on whether you want it or not. So, I hope that that helps a little bit. So, thanks for watching, man. Keep playing that EverQuest. Take care.